Hello everyone and a warm welcome. We're at the King Power Stadium in the East Midlands for this one. My name is Derek Ray and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Leicester City versus Arsenal. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Number 10, James Madison. And number 14, Kelechi Ayanacho. And the lineup for Leicester City. Wilfred and Didi starts with Yuri Tielemans in the centre of midfield. And up front today is Kelechi Iheanacho. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale is the goalkeeper. Martin Odegaard plays with Thomas Partey in central midfield. And the main striker here is Edward Nketiah. And the game begins. Martinelli. On to Jorginho. Martinelli. On to Jorginho. Now he must favour the cross. Jorginho and a chance, Erdegaard in it goes, an early goal no wonder they're celebrating well I have to say this is a really good goal just watch his technique here he just hits through the back of the ball with such power there's no stopping that And Leicester get the ball rolling once more. We're about to find out how they're going to react to the setback. Iheanacho. Well, he's given it away. And Kessia. Saka. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. Two nil now, and back underway. James Madison. Tete. Ndidi. Moving into the advanced position. Could reduce the deficit. And then the perfect position to read it. Tielemans. Well, just the tackle that was needed. Gabriel Martinelli. Well, not every keeper would have been that brave. Well, he read it brilliantly, didn't he? Top stuff from the keeper. Tete.
not getting anxious when they have the ball. He continues his run. Ianacho! Oh, he saved it well. Playing it short. Tielemans. And now Ndidi. A chance to eat into their lead. Saka. And Ketia has it. And a fine tackle. Tielemans now with Barnes getting forward Ianacho has it oh could be a smart stop here They favoured a short one here. Harvey Barnes. Pianacho! And it's in! This game very much back on as a contest. Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. Well, Leicester still trailing here, but this game very much a contest again. And Kessia. Martinelli. And making headway. Jorginho. Martinelli. And Arsenal corner as they look for more. Who can he pick out? Oh, super header, but the goalkeeper was up to the task. I'm trying to build a head of steam. Another corner it'll be. The clearance wasn't decisive. When you see this again, the defending just isn't good enough. The clearance doesn't get enough height on it, doesn't get enough distance on it, and suddenly the ball's being played back into their danger area, and they don't reorganise themselves, and that's why the ball's in the back of their net. So back underway at 3-1. Ndidi encouraging move from Leicester they've lost it well as you can see Arsenal haven't had that much of the ball but when they have won it back in midfield areas their counter-attacking has been excellent they'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment more defending for them to do here though Madison, a very timely interception. Jorginho, on to Tierney, Thomas Partey. It is now with Jorginho, 
That's a nice looking ball. Scoring chance perhaps. Well, last gasp defending, but brilliant defending. Harvey Barnes. Now Ian Acho. Madison. Looking for the angle. Sound piece of goalkeeping. And time is up as far as the first half is concerned here at the King Power Stadium. Off and running again as we reflect upon an eye-catching first-half display from Arsenal. That's a good Leicester move in the making. Madison. Well, the pass not finding its target. Bukayo Saka. Tielemans. He has time to play it over. Partey. Well, pass after pass, maybe they can chisel an opportunity. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. And a throw in for Arsenal. Martinelli. Jorginho. And it goes! The lead just gets bigger. Surely they can't let this slip now. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure.
Well, on they go again. Arsenal very much in charge. It's turning into a right old thrashing. Christiansen. Jamie Vardy now. Vardy. Now with Madison. Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. And a substitution in the offing. Let's see about the delivery. It comes to nothing in the end. Ricardo Pereira. And still a chance. Well, that's the end of that for now. Making sure nothing came of it. Ricardo Pereira. Can he do it? The net is steering him in the face. And the keeper more than equal to it. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Keen to take it short here. Under no real pressure, he has thinking time. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Thomas Partey. 20 minutes to go in this one. Can they convert? Partey. Arsenal have given it away. They've wasted possession again, Arsenal. Harvey Barnes. The supporters want to see him have a go. Can he take the chance? It's gone in! And well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Jorginho Gabriel Martinelli Martinelli It is now with Jorginho Cleared away comprehensively Martin Odegaard It is now with Jorginho And with that the attack fizzles out and the counter-attack is on options available Harvey Barnes now with Vardy intercepting it intelligently Gabriel Martinelli victory if there were any lingering doubts well here's the replay he does well to find that bit of space in the box and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off that's a good goal It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now.
Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, three minutes to be added on. Madison. And now Ricardo Pereira. And there it is, a goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at their best. Well, it's great awareness of space in the box. And then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. Not a scoreline we see all that often. 5-3. And that is the end of the game. The referee blows for full time.